Okay, so let's continue with our calculation on, of the angles in a spherical triangle. So we already know that the angle here is right, and as we just mentioned in the other part, the angle here is also right. In fact, these two vectors will always form a right angle as you go around the equator. So also, the angle between QR and RP is pi hat. Why did I do this? I wanted to point to you that when you study large triangles on a sphere, they do not even have even they do not even approximately have the properties that we expect from triangles on the plane. Namely, look, I just looked at these two angles of this triangle and I already have in total 180 degrees. And this angle here isn't zero. I mean, the, the, the plane tangent to the North Pole looks kind of like this. It's a horizontal plane, and these two tangent vectors are like this and like that. That's probably not the right angle here on my picture, but it's anyway an angle greater than zero. So we get the following conclusion here. Hence, the sum of the angles in the triangle PQR is strictly greater than pi. Okay, that's certainly something you do not uh, see on the plane, and you do not see it really in small triangles. If you draw a small triangle on the sphere, the angles are still gonna uh, add up to more than 180, but just slightly. You don't see this so much if it's a small triangle, but in such a big one, you see this uh, quite well. If finally, if you're going to draw an even bigger triangle, you see they become looking really strangely um, So if here's a sphere, and I take, uh, again, maybe North Pole was one of my vertices and two other down here, then Here is a triangle that connects these three points PQR. You see that now it, th this triangle sort of doesn't look like uh, like a standard triangle you would expect to. Uh, so, but it, but its sides are still uh, straight lines on the sphere. That means they are parts of great circles. So they are geodesics. Um, Starting essentially next lecture, after we review dot product and cross product, we are going to study trigonometry on the sphere. So we're going to study quite a lot about triangles on the sphere. And you will see some very interesting features that distinguish, some of them make these triangles quite similar to triangles on the plane, but some of them make them quite different. Okay, so uh, watch the next few videos to see trigonometry on the sphere.